Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing from Colonial Downs in nearby New Kent, Virginia on Wednesday afternoon, July the 20th, and this is my dayatthetrack.com race of the day. Let's take a look at the race one opener this afternoon, folks, 5 p.m. Eastern Post Time, 5 furlong sprint on Colonial's outer turf course, Phillies and Mares, 3 years old and up, racing for a claiming purse of $13,000. $370. Contenders number five, Enjoyable. Number one, Ginny Ray. Number seven, April's Dixie Bell. And number two, Crazy Like a Fox. Number five, Enjoyable, the overall speed leader in this field, sprinting at her about today's distance of five furlongs on the turf, has hit the board in four straight starts with her last last three efforts, including wins in both her last start, as well as at, in her third race back, also qualifying as power runs. Jockey Forrest Bryce has been in her irons for those last three adventures with the two wins leading to a positive 63% return on investment in the process. Back today for a third ride gunning for a hat trick win. Number one, Ginny Ray, a 12 to 1 bomb. Exceptional early speed abilities for this short turf sprint has hit the board in two of her last three including a win in her second race back. Race one summary number five enjoyable top spine contenders list today which also includes number one Ginny Ray number seven April's Dixie Bell and number two crazy like a fox five one seven two and the first from Colonial Downs bonus long shots let's go to River Downs in Ohio first race six entry number six Indian Ashton an eight to one shot the overall speed leader in this starter allowance field sprinting at five furlongs on the dirt. Evangeline Downs, race six, the 20 to 1 bomb, number three. Sinister, the speed leader in this field sprinting at today's specialized distance of seven furlongs on the dirt. Recent past performance sheet show a power run win in its third race back. So from Colonial Downs on a Wednesday afternoon, Rick Needham for dayatthetrack.com, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.